lamping for rabbits now. We've got trucks that we can go over any terrain we want. We've got a very bright lamp that we're going to shine through the field very slowly. Find a rabbit, hopefully it will squat down and I'm going to shoot it with a 2-2 rifle. Hopefully we should get ourselves 10 or 15 rabbits this evening so we've got something to cook tomorrow. It's quite important. Hit your rabbit. You need to squeeze all the way out of them. Okay. We've got five rabbits. We're going to call it a night. We've uh, peed them, which is very important to take that out straight away, so that stops it from tainting the meat. And we've also taken the guts out. Obviously, the guts are full of bacteria. If we leave them in, by tomorrow morning, that bacteria will have carried on working, even though the rabbit's dead, and the the, the meat will be tainted, and also the guts will have swollen up and it will have fouled the meat. So we've taken the guts out straight away, we've peed them, and then tomorrow morning we'll skin them and put them in salt water overnight, and then after that we'll start cooking with them. Meat cleaver, stretch his legs out, <coughs> chop his tail off, head nice and easy off, <coughs> legs, now open up the back legs, and put your fingers beneath the skin and the meat, and pop his leg out, and roll in with the knuckles like that, Roll over, take him off the other leg, very easily, then in one swift motion, that simple, okay? Then what you want to do, tidy up that little bit of fluff, that bit there, that can come off, and what we need to do is finish the gutting we started in the field, yeah? So come back down like that, knife over the pelvis, like that. Take the last piece of the guts and cut it away like that. And make sure you've removed everything from inside the rabbit. Like that. Now, what you must do is put the rabbit in salted water overnight. If you read a recipe book that tells you that you don't have to do this or doesn't tell you to do it, there's no point reading the book because you're not going to learn anything about cooking rabbits because a person who's written it has obviously researched it and doesn't have any first-hand experience of cooking with rabbit. Salted water, in there like that. Right, these are the rabbits that we skinned last night and put in salt water overnight. That's going to take away the sort of bitterness and taint you can get with rabbit. All we're going to do now is quite simply take them out of the bowl and put them into boiling water got some of these glow bar chokes which are the smaller glow bar chokes. We peel the outsides off, cut the ends off, prepare them and put them in acidulated water. Right that's the artichokes done. Now we're going to chop the mushrooms and prepare the rabbit. Look at that rabbit falling off the bone. You're going to leave it for a couple of minutes otherwise it's going to be too hot to handle but very quickly it'll cool down. Ok, that's all the meat picked off the bone of the rabbit. Now, I'm going to season the rabbit and we're going to cover it in olive oil. That's going to store it, it's going to seal it and we can store it in the fridge for up to two weeks. We've got two types of mushrooms, you can use any type you want. I've got some chestnut mushrooms and some oyster mushrooms. If you want to use normal button mushrooms or field mushrooms you can, but these have got a slightly more interesting flavour and they're going to bring a bit more to the dip. In go the artichokes. Salt, pepper, cut the mushrooms in. This is very expensive cuttlefish ink pasta. Boiling salted water. important that you remember to put salt in the water otherwise the salt that's in the pasta will go out of the pasta into the water 
and your pasta will taste bland, yeah? Beautiful melt in the mouth rabbit here. Lovely sauteed fresh vegetables, perfect pasta, just a superb dish.